Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you're watching VectorArt. If you are a .NET WinForm developer, you know the power of desktop applications. But let's be honest, the default WinForms UI can sometimes feel a little outdated. But what if I told you there's a way to transform your drab WinForm applications into sleek, modern, and highly interactive user interfaces with minimal effort? In this video, we are diving deep into CityCone.NET Framework UI, a powerful UI library that will help you build visually stunning desktop applications for .NET Framework. So stick around because by the end of this tutorial, you will have the skills to start building beautiful WinForms apps that truly stand out. So what exactly is CityCone.NET Framework UI? It is a comprehensive UI library for WinForms designed to give your applications a modern, professional look and feel. Think of it as a massive upgrade to your standard WinForms toolbox. It provides over 250 uh, enhanced controls, charts, and components, all designed with pixel-perfect precision, smooth animations, and so on. So some of the key advantages would be a modern aesthetic, as you can see uh, on this uh, UI at least here on the screen, you have this sample um, uh, application. And here you can see uh, it has this modern aesthetic, which says goodbye to flat gray design. City Cone offers beautiful customizable controls. Uh, rapid development, drag and drop integration with Visual Studio makes beautiful, sophisticated interfaces incredibly fast. You have high performance, optimized for speed and efficiency, rich feature set, uh, form controls, custom buttons and text boxes to grid controls, sidebars, and specialized controls like OTP inputs or taskbar notifications. It's packed with features. And for compatibility, it works seamlessly with .NET Framework 4.8 and above and integrates well with C Sharp and VB.NET. So before we uh, move uh, further, I would like everyone to please do subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more such videos and I will bring you more such UI libraries in the future. So let's take a look at the installation and setup. So to get started with uh, CityCone, uh, .NET Framework, it is straightforward. We'll be using NuGet Package Manager in Visual Studio. So before uh, going to that, I will leave a link in the description about this uh, product. And you can go ahead and look at the documentation and the videos that CityCone has to offer. But uh, let's go back to Visual Studio now. And I will show you how to install and set up CityCone on your uh, PC. So I have uh, this uh, Visual Studio 2022 uh, open here. Let me close this. Uh, browser and uh, let's start by creating a new project before we dive into installation i want to give a huge shout out to city cone for providing me with the license to thoroughly explore and showcase this amazing product in this tutorial their support makes uh, this content like this possible and i'm truly grateful so now let's get uh, started with this video so here uh, let me look for wind forms And let me select WinForms application with .NET Framework. And let me click on Next. Give this project a name. So let me call this CityCon Tutorial. And let's select .NET Framework 4.8 and click on Create. So now uh, our window has uh, loaded. So let's go to tools, uh, then NuGet package manager and manage NuGet package. And here let's uh, browse and search for ctcone.net framework UI. So let me paste it over here and search. So here on the top, you have the first option, which is which has this green logo. So you have to select that, select your project and install. It also has a good amount of documentation that you can go through uh, even the, in the NuGet library. So I will apply all of this and accept. So once installed, uh, you will see new CityCone controls appear in your Visual Studio toolbox. And if they don't appear immediately, uh, you can try restarting Visual Studio or rebuilding your project. So let's see if it is this is installed. And here I can see it is installed. So let me close this. and select my window and i'll go to view and look for the toolbox and pin this so that i do not have to 
enable it again and here you can see in my search box i have citycone.net framework ui and it has loaded all the controls that i need uh, and you can see it has a comprehensive tool set uh, around 250 uh, plus uh, controls yeah and they are uh, going to add new controls by the end of this month so you will be having a lot of new controls to play with and make your designs more modern and look beautiful uh, crucially, it is important for you all to know that citycone.net uh, framework UI is a commercial product that requires a license for production use. However, um, citycone uh, offers a free trial period, uh, which is fantastic for you to experiment and try out all its features before making a purchase. I highly recommend checking out their website for details on the trial and licensing options. So please uh, do check that out. So now let's get uh, um, further in the video. So let me go back to Visual Studio and close this. Now that we have uh, installed CityCone NuGet package, we need to um, install the uh, license uh, or set up the license settings. So to do that, let me drag uh, my CityCone license settings uh, on the UI. So I need to search for that. Let me search it here. So here is this uh, control. Let me drag it on the window and then select it and go to properties. And here uh, we have the open license setting and you need to click on this. And here it asks you to provide the license uh, information. So I will do this and then uh, let's get back to the video. So uh, my uh, license uh, has been activated. So let me close this. And now I will go to my UI and start um, by adding a button over here. And uh, you can see, uh, let me save this and run this application just to see if I get any license errors. And as you can see, I do not have any license uh, related errors. So let's move uh, to the tutorial uh, and proceed with building a simple login form. Uh, let's put some of these uh, controls uh, that you see over here into action by building a basic but modern looking login form. So first, uh, let's set up our form. To do that, let me delete this button that I added. And then uh, let's drag and drop some of the controls that we need. So let's start with uh, city cone borderless form to remove the uh, default window border and allow the for custom title bar. So let's search for borderless form okay if i drag onto this uh, window it has automatically changed this window into a, a borderless form so which is so nice and you have several properties uh, that you can use so if i select this borderless form uh, control and go to properties you can see you can change the navbar color uh, to your desired color for example i can change it to a uh, orange light orange color a pink color or any color that you desire so that is that is how simple it is and then you can change other properties like this is the important property called target form which targets uh, which control you want to add this borderless form to which is the form one in our case and uh, there is drop shadow true which will uh, drop a shadow onto this um, whenever this window is uh, running and then you have corner radius where you can set a corner radius uh, so that you have rounded edges to the uh, uh, window. So these are some of the nice uh, features that makes your window even more modern. So next uh, is to add a text box for controlling the uh, username and password. So let me go ahead and search here in the toolbox a text box. So here uh, I have the text box. So let's uh, select city code text box and drag it on the page. And as soon as I dra drag it, you can see some of the properties uh, that um, um, city cone offers to change and uh, these are some of the city cone specific properties like you can see there are some quick actions field type configuration theme presets and so on these are so uh, beautiful to uh, change your simple looking um, 
control into a much more beautiful looking modern control so here if i see for example here if i select these properties and i can change the theme see preset from light theme a dark theme preset accent theme flat style material style and so on so i let go i'll select with uh, the light theme and here you can see if you can uh, you can also set this text box to be a password field an email field a numeric field and search field and so on so these pro properties make your life much more easier as a programmer so i'll go ahead and change the placeholder text to username and i will take, get rid of the text that was present over here and that is all i will do here in this and here you can see uh, it has now a username uh, placeholder next i will copy this and paste it and place it over here and in this this uh, text box i need as a password box so i'll just go ahead and click on this setup as a password field doing this you will see that this password mode will be enabled so that means that this is a password field and uh, you'll also see this placeholder text get replaced so i'll click on setup as a password field and you will see that it tells you to enter a password as a placeholder text and it has changed the password mode uh to enable so that it only accepts uh, password characters so that is done for the uh, two inputs to capture the login username and password and now we need a button so let me search for button control and let's select site cone button and just place it over here and let's change this text so again i will use these properties here and let's change this to login simple and uh, then I need a remember me uh, checkbox. So let's uh, search for checkbox. And you can see how nice this checkbox is. Uh, let me change this to Okay, so here is the text property and let me change it to remember me. And you can also change other properties over here uh, like padding, uh, can beep, can shake, uh, is contained, is read only and so on on this uh, properties window. Unfortunately, there is, I do not see the um, um, text property over here and that is the reason why I went to the regular properties bar on Visual Studio. Uh, you can also change the style. You can change it from classic, tick only, um, minimal and circle and material types. So I will go back to uh, the classic one and then uh, maybe uh, you need an icon here on the top uh, to capture uh, the logo. So you can uh, go for the picture box. So let's drag this picture box here on the screen, go to properties and look for the image property. I do not have uh, the image property here visible here on the properties that are uh, directly available. So I will go to the properties here on the right hand side, import, look for the image logo that I've downloaded from icons icons8.com and open and click on OK. So now I have the image. So let me go to uh, the size and set the size to say 50 by 50 points and also now there are few controls over here that can make my image look different so there are some themes that you can apply and there is uh, this checkbox that will make this uh, image look circular i will also remove this show border which because i don't want a border if you have a if you make this circular shape then only you can see this border being applied so if i remove this the border will be applied to the uh, in the shape of a square but um, if you select this option of circular shape uh, the border will change so i will remove this uh, show border but i will add a corner radius of uh, 50 uh, and see let's see how the image appears uh, and that doesn't make any change to this because uh, i believe i was hoping that the image itself will become a circular uh, image uh, but nonetheless uh, i will remove this let's see what happens when i click on this circular profile and uh, it applies this theme and I will leave it as is. So let me uh, reposition it, make it a big, a little bigger. And um, for other styling related options, you can adjust the colors, font, border radius, and shadow decorations for a cohesive look. Um, some of the basic event handling would be the login button where you can double click and uh, you can show a simple uh, message box. So let me double click here. And this is my button. I have not renamed it. That's why it has taken the default button. So I will just say, 
message box dot show hello site con ui so that is my message on click of uh, the button uh, and let me run this application and here you can see we have a beautiful looking uh, site cone uh, controls or here on the uh, ui in winforms and you can see how different it is from visually different it is from the win ui controls and how visually appealing these controls are you can see uh, the text the font the password and uh, the animations or the highlights that you receive when you click on these buttons and you can see how beautiful these checkbox look and when i click on this you can see we get our regular uh, message box and uh, you have different controls to make these uh, pop-ups also look visually appealing so hope you all uh, liked watching this video even with just a few site cone controls you can see how quickly we have elevated the look and feel of a standard wind forms applications in the next video i will try to de uh, dig deeper into these controls that are offered these 250 controls and uh, plus there will be more uh, in the future and we will try to explore more of these controls and see how we can create a beautiful looking um, ui with wind forms so hope you all like watching this video if you do please give this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel i will leave a link in the description to this uh, website where you can book for a free trial and try out this control uh, for yourself till then bye bye